Hello everyone and a big welcome from the LA Auto Show. I'm Justin Bell and I'm standing next to a very special and unique Jaguar I-Pace. This one is the E-Trophy race car, the star of the show of the world's first championship for electric-based production vehicles. Now, this week, Jaguar had a huge announcement as they revealed the first I-Pace E-Trophy race team to sign up for their global electric race championship. But before we get to that news and quite who the team is, let's take a look at what the I-Pace E-Trophy is all about. The Jaguar I-Pace E-Trophy, a new race, a new championship that is gonna travel all around the world together with Formula E to continue promoting electric mobility and electric cars. The Jaguar I-Pace e-Trophy really heralds a new era. What it means is you can now race with a battery electric production car. It's never happened before. We're incredibly excited to be the first brand to be introducing a car of this nature. Showing road cars, competitive, racing with professional drivers is, I think, going to be a big step to continue on this process of changing the mind of people to convince them to buy an electric car. We will have 10 races around the world following the FIA Formula E Championship. It gives people the opportunity to not only race a battery electric vehicle, but race it in the heart of the world's finest city centres. Well, how exciting and dynamic was that? It is the Jaguar I-Pace E-Trophy. It is the support series to the Formula E Championship and the first to be based on street legal production battery powered vehicles. Now each race is gonna be on the same race weekends on the same city streets throughout the 2018-19 season. Now the series will exclusively feature 20 of these I-Pace E-Trophy race cars, really giving teams to showcase exciting new young driver talent. At the same time, of course, the ultimate in electric car performance. But remember, they are on the world stage of zero emissions motorsport. Now, last night in downtown LA, we hosted an event where we made the big announcement. One of the top racing teams in America has signed on to lead the charge for the 2018-19 I-Pace E-Trophy series. It's a racing legend that is behind it. And in a minute, I get to talk to him. But first, take a look at last night's announcement. The first championship race starts in November next year, 2018. And I'm delighted actually to be able to announce today the first team that will be involved in that, managed by a legend of US motorsport, Bobby Rahal. Now, Bobby is here. Come up on stage, Bobby. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah, good. You're looking good, as I'm... ever. You've got lots of history, mm. but what was it that got you interested in the, the, what I would call the future of motorsport? Well, I think that's just it. It's the future of motorsport in a, in a big way. Obviously, electrically powered cars are going to be a big part of our future, and uh, to be involved in that and the development of that, uh, the evolution of that, whether it's in racing or on the street, is uh, something that I found very attractive. We're very, very excited about this, uh, this new uh, venue, this new part of the sport, and, uh, and look very much forward to our, uh, our first race about a year from now. And you've got a reputation of bringing great new drivers. Have you uh, got any good plans there you can tell us about, or is that uh, under wraps at the <laughs> Well, as it was announced today, my phone started ringing off the hook, as you might imagine. I Excellent. think it's going to be very exciting. Um, I'm really, uh, I think this is going to be a big part of motorsports in the future and we're just, we're just glad to be a partner with Jaguar Land Rover in it and uh, to be a part of the series as a whole. Fantastic. And one more question, you're going to win? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you much. Bobby Rahal. Thanks, Bobby. Now, when we said special guest, we really meant special guest. Bobby, so good to have you here. Thank you, sir. Obviously, as part of the Jaguar racing family now, uh, I really want to emphasize for people that I don't know if you've been living under the rock for the past few decades, <laughs> but Bobby Rahal is literally one of the most iconic, legendary race drivers in American and world history. I mean, IndyCar championships, you've raced in Formula One, you've raced in sports cars, mm -hmm. and this is a whole new era now for, for your race team. It is. It's, uh, of course, the first step into electric racing, uh, so to speak, and, uh, uh, and also really the first step for us internationally in a series that has international basis, uh, which is exciting for me uh, personally, professionally. Of course, as you said, you know, we've been involved in Formula One before, we've been involved in uh, sports cars before, which had, you know, a, there was a big international involvement there. But, uh, but certainly for us at Rahal Letterman Lanigan Racing, this is a, a great 
first step for us and we're, uh, we're very excited. Now obviously being on the front line of a new technology mm -hmm. with a brand that is really pushing the boundaries, that's really what your team has been preparing for all the way through. I mean, right. everything you do with every manufacturer you work through, you, mm -hmm. you're always crossing new boundaries. Right. How is the team galvanized around that? Well, I think for us, of course, this is just the beginning, but for us, it's going to be all about uh, understanding the technology, uh, being able to use that technology to, uh, to our best uh, interests. And, and frankly, I think out of it all comes, uh, in the collectively through this whole series, uh, further uh, evolution of the electric car program. And uh, that's what makes, makes it exciting for us, I think, to play a small role in that. Certainly Jaguar is leading the charge, so to speak, <laughs> in, that, uh, in that area. But, uh, but for us as a team, we're very, we're very pleased to be involved in the series and uh, can't wait to get going. You say, uh, you mentioned obviously that being a part of it from the ground up is important. Mm. But you've always prided yourself on testing and development. Your drivers, right. the drivers you have right now in the IMSA Championship, are very uh, good at development. How is that going to translate? How important is that for eTrophy to have mm -hmm. you guys involved, you think? Well, I mean, there are certain you know, limitations like there's in any formula today uh, that, uh, that, will, uh, that, will, you know, that every team will have to live up to. But that's not to say that you can't, uh, you know, you can't look at that that automobile and say, okay, how can we make it better within the, the the framework of those regulations? And that's where the real challenge is. And that's where you really find, you know, those people who are really imaginative and creative. And and that there's a great deal of satisfaction that certainly I derive from that when you see your your car, your team's cars out there leading the leading the way. And uh, uh, you know, we're anxious to get to, to get the car, anxious to see it, to understand it. And uh, hopefully by doing so, by being the first team in, hopefully uh, we'll have uh, that little bit more of a head start on everybody else. Head starts are always what Bobby's looking for. But the car looks fantastic, yeah, doesn't it? it? Does. I mean, obviously it's, it's got the right stature. As you say, understanding the technology, evolving uh, how the team works with, with, especially with, I guess, the Jaguar racing engineers. Mm -hmm. But strategy, every time you watch Bobby on the pit box during a race, I'm in the pit lane and I see him at work calling a race under, pulling on all those decades of experience is a very important part of modern motorsport. I think in this, in the e-trophy, that's going to be uh, even more exaggerated. Uh, for sure. And, and again, there are limitations as to what you can do uh, as a team to the car. So it's really going to be who can kind of harness what they have. Yeah, literally. And, and, uh, yeah, literally. And, uh, and be able to... Uh, uh, you know, be able to use that uh, in a, to be successful. So I think the, the, some people might be looking from the outside in and say, oh, that doesn't really seem to be much uh, complication to it. But, you know, I think there's more complication oh. to those kinds of categories than there is in, say, Formula One or what have you, which seemingly has no complication. So yeah. it's, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be very interesting. And uh, we're, I'm anxious to see who else is going to jump in yes. the pool with us. The races that I normally see Bobby at are at glorious locations like Elkhart Lake and maybe upstate New York and some other places in America that you don't normally go to unless you're with a race series. It's going to be tough for you, Bobby, traveling around the world to all these <laughs> glamorous locations. What's, what's the one you're most looking forward to? Well, you know, of course, uh, we don't know the exact schedule for, uh, for the 18-19 season, but you'd have to look at what they're, where, they're, where they're performing today. Of course, Singapore, Hong yeah. Kong. Uh, Marrakesh. I mean, the, the list of uh, venues is really—it's uh, something else, frankly. And and uh, I think for me, uh, uh, you know, I, to go to uh, Singapore will be very interesting. To yeah. go to—I uh, think we're in Berlin, uh, or they are this year, and I presume we'll be back there next year. Um, of course, Berlin's a very famous city. I've been there briefly. I'm looking forward to that. But to be honest with you, where these venues are in the hearts of these cities all around the world. That in itself is a big draw uh, for the fans, I believe. But you know, for me, I've been racing a long time, and it still really, really uh, gets my passion, my juices flowing to be yeah. able to say, "Oh, we're going to Marrakesh, we're going to uh, Madrid, we're going to you know yeah. wherever it may be." It's not like you say. As much as I love Elkhart Lake in the in the middle of Wisconsin, it's a little bit different. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> At your heart, you're still a race driver. We all still are race drivers. Yeah. I imagine that you've jumped behind the wheel of nearly every race car your team's had. Mm -hmm. This will be an exciting new experience. I mean, maximum torque at no miles an hour. Right. I mean, what getting that power down, are you looking forward to getting behind the wheel? Just to have a drive. I am, yeah, they're not gonna let me race. I'm no. too old, I passed my sell-by date on that uh, from that standpoint. Did you see my but... resume yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait for it in the mail. Yeah, it'll be a... But, yeah. uh, but no, I, I do want to drive the car, uh, and to, I think by doing so, you 
you kind of understand what the drivers will face because it's not going to be as simple as just getting in and going. No. There's going to be there's going to be a finesse to it. There's you talk to about normally conserving fuel, fuel. conserving Maybe battery. Yeah. Some drivers are better than others, so That's I think right. it's going to be a big part. Yeah. Well, That's Bobby, right. thank you so much. Thank you. It's thank a you. huge congratulations to be the first team to sign up for the iPACE eTrophy Series. Now, if you want to stay involved, follow along at Jaguar USA or Jaguar Racing on all forms of social media. And don't forget, this weekend in Hong Kong, get behind Jaguar Racing as they compete in the first Formula E race of this championship year. So as we look forward to next season's racing, there's a lot going on. The development's going to be fast and furious. So stay tuned from all of us here at the LA Auto Show here on the Jaguar stand. Exciting times. Look forward to seeing you in the E-Trophy series.